when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. die hallelujah by and by i'll fly away that's happy music and we're happy today so glad to be able to come to you on this edition of from the shepherd to the sheep and today we have a guest speaker my protege brother tyler candy he's doing a great work for god and we're so pleased with him and what he's doing for the lord jesus we welcome him today brother tyler Hello and welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep and a new month and a new series this month. This time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hitting some of the common subjects, uh, some common themes, some common verses. You know what? It's okay if we look at these common verses and these common themes. Not everything has to be radical and new and novel. And, you know, sometimes we just need a reminder of the basic truths from the Word of God. So I hope that today this will be a help to you some way. Thank you so much for joining us as well. And why don't you share this out with somebody else who also might be able to hear some good things from the Word of God this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever it is that you're watching. So let's open up our King James Bible this morning. Uh, this For this devotion, we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, and we're going to be looking about the topic of trusting in God. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I'm sure some of you have this verse memorized. I remember memorizing this in my high school days, and it's always stuck with me. Whenever we get to Proverbs chapter 3, I always recite that verse back because this is, a so, this is such an important part of our Christian lives is trusting in the Lord. You see, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, not some of your heart, you can't be trusting in something and also trust in the Lord. You're supposed to trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's every bit of you. Uh, similar to how uh, we see in Matthew and in other passages where Jesus Christ says that we ought to love the Lord with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, our might, our strength, and all the different variations of that verse. But it's to get the point across to you that you ought to love the Lord with all of yourself. And so here we're supposed to trust in the Lord with all of ourselves, not just parts of ourselves, all of ourselves. And then what does it say? It says, lean not unto thine own understanding. A lot of times you and I think that we know the best way to go next. We know what's best for our families and what's best for our jobs and what's best for our school and all of these different aspects. But you know what? We understand one thing, but God's ways are higher than our ways, the Bible says. And so we must trust in him to care for us and to guide us and direct us where we ought to be. So maybe you're coming to a crossroads with your job and maybe you're deciding, do I stay at this job or do I go pursue another job? Trust in the Lord. Uh, ask him fast and pray and seek his face in this decision. Uh, maybe it's, do I uh, pursue this relationship with this person? Do I go to college? Do I uh, do such and so? Do I move locations? Seek the Lord in all of those aspects and then trust him when he gives you an answer and follow after them. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Give a testimony about what the Lord has been doing in your life. Here at Central, we often have testimony services, a time where you can share a praise or a testimony of what God's been doing in your life. And you know what? God gives you a promise that if you testify to him, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, He'll then direct your paths, and He will direct you which way to go, which is the best way. What do we have to do in re for, to be able to do that? Uh, the, this is the deal. God's going to direct your paths, and He's going to guide you, and He's going to direct you. But what do you have to do? You have to trust Him. You have to not lean on your own understanding, and you have to acknowledge Him in all thy ways. Those three aspects, and God will help direct your path. You just have to trust Him in that. So I hope that this can be a help to you in some way, Christian. I hope that you'll contend for the faith, pray for revival, and may the Lord bless you. 
Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today you are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep daily devotionals this is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia if you would like to learn more about our ministries You can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.